feel like sometimes you are just going in uh, one big circle in your life? Yeah, I know how you feel. Sometimes it can be like that, you know, life. Life can be like that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm getting very thirsty. I didn't bring any water. That's all right, because I got all day to ride. How do I get out of here? I'll go out this way. They're closing the, uh, the hill here so the grass can grow, I guess. So, re-turfing, they call it re-turfing. I guess it's just a fancy way of saying, uh, stay off the grass. <laughs> Okay, so where do I want to go from here? Uh, I think I have an idea. Okay, I'm gonna go... Uh, uh, I'm getting thirsty. I am getting thirsty, so I'm gonna make uh, one more trip. One more trip around here. I'm gonna go uh, on another decomposed granite trail. And the pool, the pool is open. But who wants to go because, you know, they don't have any furniture, they don't allow any uh, water, the water fountains are closed. Oh, uh, I gotta just uh, see if I can, okay. I don't want to bump off the curb. So. So like the uh, water fountains are closed. What else is closed? Uh, they have no furniture or so, and you can only be there for like two hours at a time. And it's heavily restricted, you gotta reserve, so. Anyways, uh, let's keep going. I don't know how long it's been. I don't know what time it is either. see what time. Okay, I'm gonna go over the, uh, over the hill. Ooh, hot, hot. Let me get out of the sun. I wanna be in the shade. I wanna be in the shade. Ooh, jeez. It is hot. It is hot. The Flexi Freeze is probably totally melted. It's probably still cool, but I just don't feel it. And, uh, it is helping me vent the heat. I When I start riding fast, I can feel uh, ventilation going up, up through the vest. And it's probably, it's probably absorbing some of my body heat. Oh yeah, like when I get a cool breeze, it feels really good. Otherwise it wouldn't feel, uh, it wouldn't feel like anything at all, to be honest with you. I would, I would feel hot wind. So, at least I'm feeling a cool breeze going through, uh, through my, uh, vest. All right, pedal assist five, gear seven. Going through the overpass. straight so I'm gonna get into the, to the road here to see if I could just slowly move forward and uh, see if it'll I don't think it's gonna work I'm gonna have to put my foot down and stop okay so I'm gonna take the road here I'm gonna go straight and then uh, I don't think it's gonna pick me up I might be here for a long time 
which sucks. Okay, <laughs> it turned, finally turned green. All right. Okay, I'm down. Uh, I'm down three bars now. Woo! <laughs> it dropped really quick. This may be my last ride here through. Oh no, it went to three bars. So I got three bars. Pedal assist, uh, five gear seven. Because I'm just trying to make it through. And I'm gonna head to the gravel trail. After that, I might do. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might do some time warp or something creative. I haven't, I haven't figured out what I wanted to do. Eventually, I'm gonna head back home after this because I am getting thirsty. There's nowhere I can get water. I should have. Uh, my plan was to eventually stop back home and get some water and a second battery if I have to. Whatever I need to do. Whatever I need to do. Whatever I need to do and uh, keep riding. Keep riding. Now the whole point of this is, uh, well for me anyway, is one of the things that I do when I ride is I don't try to do long distance ride. I'm not going to go to the beach. I'm not going to ride my bike to the beach. That's about uh, two hours away driving. I'm not going to uh, do stuff like that, but if I want to keep riding all day, uh, I ride through uh, around a radius through my house, where my house is. And you know, five to ten mile radius, if you just go back and forth and you stop by your house as a midpoint, go to the other side, stop back to your house at midpoint, go through the other side, man, you can ride all day. You got a second battery, you get some water. You know, freshen up a little bit, cool down, recharge the battery, and then uh, keep riding. Keep riding, you know? So, I'm gonna do the gravel trail here. If, uh, if it didn't rain and I had some other stuff on, I would, uh, I'd actually go to, uh, I'd go through the shortcut, the Mario Land. But it's so, I think it's all wet and, uh, and uh, soggy. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. All right. So here's the gravel trail. Is this a gravel? No. Okay. It's not this one. It's the next one. Sorry about that. I'm not in a hurry. I kind of am, but. Okay, three bars. Fiddle assist five, gear seven. I'm pedaling. I like pedaling. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna go cut through the grass. Just a little easier that way. There we go. Go through a residence here, then head out to a uh, Granite Trail. It might be a little muddy here and there, but I'll have to watch it. It does get kind of uh, slippery and squirrely, and you know, although these are like Kenda, whatever these are, so they're knobby tires. I still don't want to be going all fast. All right. There we go. Oh. Oh, nice, nice breeze. Not feeling as cold as it was before, but still pretty nice. 
at least I'm venting. Of course, if I wasn't wearing a, <laughs> if I wasn't wearing body armor vest, I'd probably be much cooler, right? <laughs> I don't know how much time has gone by. What time is it? Oh, I got the tracker on. Let me see, it's probably been two, maybe two hours, maybe three. I don't know. But if you look at the duration, on the telemetry data, that should tell you, man, my legs are, I can feel the sun on my legs. Uh-oh, okay, got some water here. Get into lower gear, and then can I go up this thing here. That's the only way to do it. That's a lot of water right here. Lower the gear a little bit. Ugh, got two bars now. If I'm on high ground, I think it's okay to be on high ground. The water drains down. I knew I was going to come up. I, I I know this area, so I knew I was going to hit up against that that little whatever you call it, waterlogged, decomposed granite, and then it kind of rises up here and goes to my decomposed granite again. Oh, all right. Oh, create some wind. Oh, that wind feels good. As long as I get a breeze. As long as I can create breeze or get a breeze, I'm cooling off pretty good. So that's that's good. Whew. Sharp 90 degree turn right here. It's almost even more than 90 degrees. Almost there. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna, let's go to the right. Get up here a little bit. Oh, yeah. It'll just fire gear seven. Just keeping it that way gonna go back down anyway. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. Hot. I'm definitely gonna go home. I'm contemplating where to, whether to go under the bridge, but I'm looking at the mud here. Look at how wet it is. I think it's gonna be very muddy under the bridge, so I probably won't. I'll probably go underneath the tunnel. Right underneath the tunnel. tires I know they're not like a hundred percent so be careful when you fly by and do all this stuff I'm down to two bars of battery I don't know how many miles I went but anyways I gotta cut through the grass here all right is getting dry. Woo! I definitely am getting dehydrated. Or I feel dehydrated. I feel thirsty. But I didn't bring water because I'm just gonna go home and drink water. I already got enough weight on this thing. Uh, this is where I go. Here. Okay. Here. Oh, let me get in the shade here a little bit. Woo! All right, let me get in the shade a little bit, cool off a little, and then I'll uh, keep on riding. 